Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount. We are back at the Caracol booth. We released that video the other day about the rifles, about the CMP9s. We've gotten lots of questions on those. Uh, one of the big things that I kept seeing in the comments was, oh, that looks like a SIG clone. Oh, that looks like a 416 clone. Uh, first of all, just so you guys know, if there's any clones, the SIG was cloning things first. But I like to kind of set the record straight <laughs> yeah, and, and get exactly what is it that you're getting this? How does that compare in design-wise for between the SIG yep. as well as the H&K? &K, and kind of go from there, Jeff. Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, there's no, there's certainly not a clone. Right. <clears throat> it's essentially... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's essentially the third iteration, if you will, of the HK416 weapon system, because the same engineers who designed that HK416 then went and designed the 516. Yep. Then those engineers then came to Caracal USA or Caracal International, I should say, and designed the 816. So, clone? No. Brainchild of the same group of engineers. <clears throat> Three iterations later, absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha. So t tell us a little bit about some differences and improvements versus the HK416, the SIG 516. Yes, of course. What, what changes have you guys made on these rifles? So the differences are gonna be in the gas system itself. So our gas system is, a, is slightly more compact. It's a little bit lower. You'll look at the receivers. You can see the height of the receivers slightly lower than both the HK and the SIG product. Uh, the Gas operating system, the short stroke operating system is indeed similar because yep. it's their design. That's yep. what they were used to building. They've just made it smaller, lighter, uh, a little bit more reliable when it comes to the over the beach side of the testing. Um, and then the internals of it, um, you know, the granulated buffer systems, the receiver uh, tensioning plungers, the extractor support pins, all of these things, they're all just refined through those, those years and years and years of having these brilliant engineers just yep. sit there and cook these ideas in their head and say, well, the next time we do this, we want to do this. Right. And that's what the 816 is. Absolutely. And which is why it's the, it was extremely successful in the German Bundeswehr test trials where the, the CR223, which was the uh, Hanel submittal, which is the 816 operating system. Right. Is, Hanel and Merkel are essentially Caracal GmbH. Uh, so that weapon system was the first weapon system in 50 some odd years to best the HK416 in that technical trial. So it's been it's been proven. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of these deployed all around the world. Uh, we're now making them here in the United States and uh, we're doing extraordinarily well with them. This The 11 and a half inch SBR was awarded the uh, Editor's Choice Award for best SBR uh, in 2023, so we're, we're happy to say that, and you know, we're, they're out there killing it. We're nice. happy with them. Well, look, we already ordered some. You're definitely gonna be seeing lots of testing content. Uh, I ordered a couple of each, right, as well as the CMP9. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of testing on those. I know Ray has had spent a lot of time on this. Uh, he just yep. did a video on this as well. I made Jeff repeat a lot of things. <laughs> so definitely go check out X-Ring's channel. He did a, a more, little bit more in depth than I even went into on this and the CMP9. So definitely go check that out. But these are not clones, right? These are improvements on previous designs. That's what it comes down to. So you're gonna get more reliability, some nicer features on these. I can say that for certain. I spent a lot of time on the 416. Uh, there's a lot of improvements that you can just visually pick it up, test it, feel it. Now the real question is, we're gonna get it in the field, we're gonna run these things hard and see how they perform at the range. And you know, when you have a weapon that you're gonna defend yourself with, you want it to be as reliable as possible. I think they've made clearly some design steps with it. All we're gonna do is verify it, right? Trust but verify, that's that's what we do here. So uh, if you are interested, we are a Caracol dealer. Uh, we just ordered some rifles. We're gonna do some testing before we put those up on the website. but. Again, for those of you asking those questions, those are the answers. And until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon.